Welcome to Sneaker Cave. This your boy Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. And I'm back with another, another banging video. And as you read that title, as you see this box, I got one of my favorite Jordans of the year. The Air Jordan 13 Playoffs, man. I'm telling you, so many people slept, slept on these shoes. So many people don't know nothing about the history of these shoes. Anything that don't got resale, the sneaker, most sneaker meetings don't even want it, which is a good thing for me and a good thing for you. So if you ready, I'm ready. Let's get right to it. Like I always say, if you want to join the dope ass sneaker gang, give your boy a big thumbs up, slap that subscribe button, tap the bell, tap off so you know the notify every time your boy drop a banging video like this one. So without further ado, the box read Air Jordan 13, black, true, red, white, New York. You don't got to say all that, but yeah. Size 11, my size. Yeah, man, we're going we gonna to hop right into this and get this re review rolling. I got to do have some other things that I must take care of today for you guys so I can bring y'all these other reviews I got coming. But yeah, just, just going to get this cracking, you know what I'm saying? Nice little paper. Nice little paper. All right. I love 13s, man. A lot of people do not like 13s because they ain't got no resale value, and I'm okay with that. I hope everybody join 13 and come out this year that I want bricks. I want them all to break. Brick A. I'm gonna put this right here. Ooh, look at that black leather. Let's look around at these boys for a second. I don't think they do 13s that much just as far as like the quality. I mean, the leather is straight. Some type of synthetic leather. It don't feel super, super soft. It ain't super, super stiff either. It ain't bad quality. It ain't too much glue stains I don't see on here. But it's cool. All right, let's get ready. I don't know. I want this shoe. Yeah, because when I hit you with the... Yeah, all right. I'm going to put it this way. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Right after party, yeah, man. These boys is hard. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite Jordans of the year. Just because I remember, I think Jordan was in an all star game when he wore his 98, I believe. And they well, they called him play on 13, so that means he was in a he wore them like throughout the year, I believe. But this one, he was in an all star game too. And anyway, could be wrong, let me know. I don't remember this how many years ago, but. I love them. They, they actually brought the, the true everything. Like, they didn't change them from back in the day. They look, from what I remember, they look exactly the same. They didn't change too much of anything on here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, there's so much going on with the sneaker community as far as, you know, not, not really bad, but it just, you know, a lot of the prices going up on stuff, you know, obviously it's tax time. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of the... A lot of the shoes is 
I, I, a lot of shoes I don't think is sitting as much as they were, you know, December, November, stuff like that. But these 13s is a must cop, man. Let me know if you cop these today off sneakers. You know, a lot of people took L. I see a JD the finish line. They sold out a lot of the bigger size. What is this on this shoe? It's, it's a key cut. Oh, hold on. It's something stuck right here. All right. What is that? It's my nail on. But yeah, a lot of people took L's today. Let me know if you copped them and you packed. Like, nah, I don't want them. I don't need them because they bricks. My thing is, if you're a sneakerhead, not, not even a sneakerhead, if you're a real Michael Jordan fan, there is 0% chance of you missing this shoe. If you don't have this shoe in your collection already and you don't cop it today, it's because you're not a real Michael Jordan fan. And I get it. It's cool. Some of y'all young. Some of y'all in your 20s. Some of y'all, you know, 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? Maybe watching this video, I get it. You didn't get to see Michael Jordan play. To you, it's about Steph Curry or LeBron or Kobe. Or, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't, didn't live that life. Y'all didn't, didn't get to see greatness. You know what I'm saying? You get, you got to watch Kobe clone Jordan, which is, you know, no, no, no knocks to Kobe. I love Kobe, but he still is a knockoff Jordan. He was a copycat Jordan. Everything he got, he got from Jordan. You know what I'm saying? So not knocking him, like I said, because I love Kobe. But if you didn't get to see the originator at it, the greatest of all time is not LeBron, it's not Kobe, it's none of them is Jordan. If you didn't get to see him play, I understand why certain shoes don't mean anything to you. These, the uh, playoff eights, um, the bread ones, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's certain shoes that don't mean anything to you, I get it. You're too young to understand greatness. Because you see Steph Curry shooting threes in half court, to you that's greatness, I get it. You know what I'm saying? And when you see Jordan dominate the entire league, it's just different. In the 90s, you know what I'm saying? He dominated everybody. There's no team that could stop him. Stop him once 91. Not once once the Pistons start winning and the Lakers start winning, nobody in the NBA can stop Jordan. But anyway, that's how we the conversation. I'm actually going to do a video about highlights. That I'm, I'm going to uh, react to his highlights. But yeah, playoff 13s, man. One of my favorite shoes of the year. Giving this a 10 out of 10. One of the best shoes of 2023. As far as colorways, as far as, you know, OG as far as what it means to the culture, you know what I'm saying? What it means to Jordan Brand. 10 out of 10 for me. Not bad. It ain't really. It's cool. It got, it got the, the good smell. It ain't strong, strong as some of the other shoes, but you know, I think uh, you know, smell smell pretty good. The 13s, man. A lot of 13s sit, and I love it. Because I love 13s, one of my favorite silhouettes besides sixes and eleven. So I hope the rest of them that come out do sit. But let me know what you guys look forward to. For the rest of this uh this year well i want to say the rest of this year for for march because some heat coming up in march you know what i'm saying we'll talk about that in a second but i think um you know for people who want to know sizing i think uh true to size they're true to size i wear 11 in 99 percent of most of my shoes except for jordan ones i like 10 and a half uh just because they crease so much so i like to go down but anything else pretty much i like 11 and some shoes 11 and a half but uh, yeah, these true to size, so you can, whatever you wear, wear 12, get a 12, wear 11, get 11, wear 13, get 13, you know what I'm saying? But I think Jordan 13s are one of the most comfortable silhouettes, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what your favorite silhouette is and your favorite, um, what you think the most comfortable is. Yeah, this is some nice quality though, this is not bad, it's not bad. This just remind me of all other 13s, you know what I'm saying, that came before it, but it's one of my favorites. Let me know. What you guys think? What you guys rate them? Did you pick them up? Did you just say, look, I just didn't need them in my sticker collection because next month we got the, um, what we got? The UNC 5s because that's a big pickup for me. We got the White Cement 3s, which is a big pickup for me. And I can't even remember what come out in March. I'm going to do the video and um, let's see. Sometime this coming week, I will have the video about what's all dropping in March. You know, there's rumor that's... Um, been confirmed i will do that video one day this week so make sure you subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on because i got a lot of videos coming up i got a video show all the latest cops that i um picked up because some older shoes that i got not older older but like you know came out like a year or two ago and um this some shoes that i didn't review like i got the gorge green ones i got them for still like 50 60 dollars off so i got them coming today actually um, I do got, it's a bunch of shoes I got coming. I got the Brazil Dunks. So I got a video for that coming. So just be on the lookout, man. Like I said, make sure you turn your post notifications on. But uh, I look forward to reading you guys' comments. Let me know what do you guys think of these. You know, have you seen them in hand? Or do you just say, look, I'm good on 13. You just don't like 13, Jordan 13 silhouettes. If you like Jordan, you love Jordan, regardless how old you are, but you just don't like the silhouette, I do understand. I ain't knocking you for not liking the silhouette. I'm only like, 
like it's disrespectful to say I don't want this shoe because it ain't it ain't selling. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it ain't it ain't five hundred dollars. That's disrespectful man, to Jordan and what he stood for everything he did for the, the culture. But anyway, with that being said, this your boy Brandon. Yeah, that's right, coolest YouTuber ever. Signing up, checking out with another bang video, man. I thank you guys for watching. I love each and every one of y'all. Like I say, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I do have videos dropping probably every day this week. I may take a day off or something like that, but for the most part, I do got a bunch of videos that you might not want to miss. You know, especially people really rock with me. So uh, thank you guys, man. Make sure got, you guys are safe. We out here picking these up today. I think if you're in Michigan, it's cold. If you're on the like, anywhere in the Midwest, it's pretty much cold. But uh, all right, see the next one. The boy is out of here. Peace. It's a new year, I got new plans Made new haters and found new fans You can ride, you can chill, even smoke to this You can hustle, you can dance and just grew to this Me and Zuko making hits, we ain't new to this